Wow, look at that big piece of beef, yikes. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater, coming to you with another rocking episode. And I am out here in Los Angeles, in Mission Hill, because I'm gonna be checking out one of the hottest night markets that you can find in LA. Behind me in this parking lot is 818 Night Market. This is the most popular night market that you can find in San Fernando Valley. Actually, there's really not too many of them. So this is definitely the spot. So this is the video I encourage you, stick all the way to the end of, especially if you love street food and night markets, because I'm gonna show you one of the best ones that you can find here in Los Angeles at 818 Night Market. And also, if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell, because I post these food and travel videos weekly you don't wanna miss out on. So go ahead, do that right now. And in the meantime, I'm gonna be heading into 818 Night Market, and it looks like they have just about opened. All right. And based on the way this whole thing is set up, it looks pretty similar to a lot of the night markets that I've been to closer in the downtown area. So this should be pretty fun to explore. So let's see what are some of the places that I can eat at. Well, why don't we start with this spot, Chimmy Grill, which is an Argentinian food stand. Now here's something I don't see very often in a night market. Oh, let's do it. Nice and simple menu. So I heard that their best seller is the skirt steak sandwich, served with red onions, tomato, cheese. Sounds really good. But then you can also do something like the chimmy special, baguette filled with chicken or Argentinian sausage. Whoa, even chicken sandwiches, okay. So this is Frank, the grill master. Oh yeah, he's making all of this delicious barbecue. You see, he got everything in there, like the sausages are on fire, got the skirt steak as well. And we got some chicken in here too. Very nice. Those sausage links look so good. Oh yeah, look at that, chimichurri bread. I can tell that is gonna be very tasty. And everything gets smoked. Everything gets smoked, including the bread. Yeah. Yeah, that barbecue chicken with some of that achote flavoring smells good and it looks good too. And there's the secret sauce, mayo. Oh, very saucy sandwich, I can tell. And the special chimichurri. This is what makes it Argentinian. Oh, bonafide. And that is the salsa criolla. Add some finishing touches to it. As you can see, everything is fresh made out here. So they grill all the meats, which is good because it's just like eating at a restaurant, but out here on the streets of LA. Okay, so here are two sandwiches that are best sellers. The first one is the skirt steak sandwich. So for $16, you can get steak with red onions, tomato, mozzarella cheese, mushrooms, and their famous chimmy sauce. It's all in there, look at that. So this is their chicken sandwich. So for $12, you get a nice grilled chicken that's on this baguette that's nicely toasted. Got some, uh, let's see, crispy lettuce. I got some mayo, secret sauce, chimichurri, and salsa criolla. First time trying Argentinian food at a night market in LA. So I guess the next one I'll be looking for is Brazilian, right? That is as perfect of a steak sandwich as it gets. It's been grilled so beautifully. It's smoky, tender, juicy, cooked to about medium rare. Um, you know, even the sauces in there add so much flavor to this. Wow. This is really, I think, one of the best steak sandwiches I've had so far in any night market in LA. I can already tell this is a good spot. I suppose even if I didn't have the sandwich and I were just to enjoy the steak by itself, you know, as a plate, it would be so awesome. Mm, truly. And if you guys are not into steak, they do have chicken, which I heard is also another one of their best sellers here. So can't miss it. Oh, that chicken is good too. That chicken is just as tender and just as well cooked as the steak. I mean, the combination of everything in here is pretty superb. Like you got the salsa, the cheese. See, look how stringy that is. Kind of has a little bit of a smokiness too, since it's been grilled. So it's pretty much like a sandwich shop. 
So if you guys are into barbecue sandwiches, you got a nice small menu, whether it's chicken or beef, both of them are a winner. I think me personally, since I'm more of like a beef type of person, I would get the beef, but then you can't go wrong with the chicken because the chicken is pretty superb. This is Frank. Once again, look out for this guy, Chimmy Grill. Awesome, awesome. And if you guys want your drinks, they got Agua Fresca here, just like every other night market I've been to in LA, here at Betty's Aguas. Yes, let's see what they got. So it looks like you can get different sizes, 24 ounce, $5, or if you're kind of a big drinker, you could get that big 32 ounce jug for nine bucks. So it looks like they have about nine selections here, starting with mango dragon fruit lemonade, which already looks very good. Uh, cucumber lemonade, as well as uh, watermelon and strawberry and cream. Oh wow, okay, nice. As well as some pineapple and horchata, uh, cafe de olla, uh, passion fruit, which I always get, and melon. Oh yeah, that mango dragon fruit, just by looking at the color, it screams, please drink me. Mm, very refreshing. I mean, it's kind of a cold night, but still, I would drink Agua Fresca any season. So this one is the one you should get if you like lemonade, but keep in mind that they have so many flavors here, different kinds of flavors. So really, I cannot tell you which one's the best. It's just your personal preference, but I like this one. All right, guys, so look out for Jesse. Right, yes, here at Betty's Aguas. And you guys know me, I'm not gonna end out with just one food spot. I'm also gonna try some tacos, which are not surprising because you'll find them at any night market. Los Cochinitos. Wow, and they specialize in carnitas tacos. That sounds pretty amazing. So it looks like these are the choices. Oh, you got quite a bit. Everything from the pork butt to belly skin, cheek, heart. And these tacos sell for about $6 each, but I heard that they're very big tacos. You see, you got like a little bit of every part here, like the stomach, the cheek, the skin, and it looks like it's all gonna be uh, maybe mixed up. Wow, look at that. Let's see that, oh man. Yeah, three tacos is already like a pound of meat. And the shoulder is also very popular here. Yes, oh, that does look good. Yeah, that does look pretty easy to eat. So after it's cut up, it goes into the tortilla. So you could do a single meat or you can do a mix. And let's do the other popular one, the corritos, which is the skin. Yeah, I've had this before, somewhere in LA. And you guys cannot forget about your condiments. So we got some onion with cilantro, as well as some lime, and some onion, uh, habanero, and lime juice. And then we got our two salsas. So the green one, I think is the less spicy one from what I heard. The red one is pretty spicy, so just warning you. Looks like Marcos is gonna dress it up a little bit for me. All right, makes my job a little bit easier. All right, yeah, green, definitely the safe way to go. Not the cheapest tacos, but they really fill this thing up with a lot of meat. I can tell you probably will get full after eating one of them. Mmm. I could taste a little bit of everything in the mixed one. I mean, it's not surprising, right? And the pork itself has like a very classic Mexican carnitas taste. Also be sure to add in your condiments or salsa because you need it. It's gonna really take the flavor to the next level. And it's worth noting that they do give samples. So if you wanna sample some of the meat just to see what it tastes like, don't be afraid to ask them. So this one is the pork butt. I'm really struggling just to keep everything in here because it just is gonna spill out at any moment. That meat is so tender, and when you have so much of it in there, it's like the best feeling ever when you bite into it. Meat overload, can you guys tell? It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but there's like a lot, a lot of meat in there. Now here's something I don't see, and I don't eat that often, which is the pork skin in the taco. It tastes nothing like the pork butt or the pork shoulder. You know how it tastes really like that. The meat doesn't taste like meat at all. It almost tastes like 
you know, eating a piece of fat in your mouth in some ways. But the flavor itself is actually very good. Now, I know some people might be kind of squeamish about eating this one, but I would say give it a try, but maybe put it in the taco mix so that you can have a little bit of this, but then also a lot of that meat that we're all accustomed to in the carnitas tacos. All right, guys, so look out for Marcos. Yeah, Los Cochinitos, awesome carnitas tacos. Thank you for stopping by, man. And guess what? They also have Caribbean food here at this night market, which is also another reason to come here at Isla Encanto, which is like a Puerto Rican fusion type of a place. Okay, you don't find Puerto Rican spots too often in LA. It is a little bit dark at the station, but I'll show you what we got. So they have the pastelitos, which are very popular here. And if you guys want to try something that's like really classic Puerto Rican, Mafongo, yes, I'm gonna do that today. And yes, pastelitos, let's do it. Uh huh, uh huh. So that is the green plantains for the mafongo, all mashed up. All right, so this is the pastelitos, I'm assuming? Yeah. All right, what's in here? What kind of meat? So this is a puff pastry filled with a picadillo on the right, and then we have a marinated uh, chicken on the left. Okay. We're gonna toss in a little bit of our seasoned crumbo. And we douse that with a little bit of our isla sauce. That is how special isla sauce. All right, looks very pretty, not complaining. Very cool. Okay, the herbs kind of add some of that finishing touches to it. That's right. The signature frog, okay, that is legit. Certified pastelito. That'll be on your chicken one. Okay, that's the chicken, that's how I know. FYI, pastelito is like a Puerto Rican empanada. So if you guys have empanadas before, you like them, then you should definitely get it here. There are like big chunks of chicken inside. And this one is kind of sweet because of the sauce that's over it. You know, just to kind of give it that Caribbean tropical taste. But then I also have to try my other flavor too. Oh yeah, picadillo, gotta have my beef. Mm. So I would say this one is the one you gotta get if you like juicy, soupy ground meat. You know, like kind of like the ones that you find in the Taco Bell hard shell taco, but of course much better. So it's different, this one's the beef, this one's the chicken right there. Both of them are so good in its own way. And if you guys want drinks, they do have the Puerto Rican Coquito. Yeah, their famous coconut drink. And of course I had to get my mafongo too. So in case you guys don't know what this is, mashed green plantains that have been deep fried and then mashed along with some seasonings. Uh, this one has chicken, although you could use other proteins in it. Classic Puerto Rican food. Mm. Yeah, this is a drink you should get if you love coconut flavor. And I notice that it's very cinnamony too. Third time in my life having a mafongo. So keep in mind that the green plantains are not as soft as bananas and not as sweet. So it's gonna have kind of a bite to it, almost kind of like eating potatoes that are not cooked like 100% all the way. But flavor wise, it's good because they use some really awesome sauce in here. And I got mine with chicken, which is very easy to eat, right? Wow, it's such a feel good dish. So if you guys wanna try Puerto Rican food, they have it here at this night market. I'm telling you, you don't find it in too many places in LA. I can already tell this night market really has a lot of diverse stuff. All right, guys, this is Jay Anthony here at Isla Encanto. So look out for him. He's gonna take really good care of you, right? Yeah, we sure will. <laughs> Come on by. You see, I'm discovering new things at this night market left and right, such as this one called Oban Yummy, which specializes in imagawa yaki, which is a Japanese dessert. Now here's something I'm also seeing for the first time at an LA night market. So I guess this is how much it costs, $3.50 each. Are six for three dollars each. Yeah, a lot of people get bundles here, so I do recommend you get more than one. I guess this is the menu, so looks like they have a savory version. Okay, so that's more like a snack because it has meat inside the spam masubi. That's the first ever time I've seen that. But I think today I'm going to focus a lot more on the sweets, like the red bean. 
Yeah, inside there are fillings. Like you could put red bean filling, you could put Nutella filling, you could put that ube filling. So in here, you got all the different flavors that have already been made, so you don't have to wait for them to make it on the spot. It's good to go. So this is the way you can tell. They mark each one so you know exactly what flavor you're eating. U stands for ube. Mm. First ever time having an obanyaki with ube filling. Because usually when I had the imagawa yaki in the past, I've had it with red bean filling, which is a really good way to go. Very traditional, but here is a spot where you can get like all kinds of flavors. What about some coconut pandan? Mm. I feel any of these sweet fillings work so good. Another one I've never tried before. I'm telling you, I'm going all out with this, like one flavor after another, such as the Oreo cheesecake. This one is one of my favorites. I did not expect to find an Oreo cheesecake flavor. All right, and what about the masubi? So this one is not the sweet one, savory. Mm. Yeah, it works. So this is the one you definitely should eat if you want more of like food. That's not a dessert. So if you guys like Spam, they have this very unique Spam concoction, which I've never seen before but only here at this spot. All right guys, this is Rhoda. Look out for her at Oban Yummy. Yes, yes. See, let me show you how unique some of these stores are. So behind me, there's this one called Moringa in the Raw. So they specialize in selling the Moringa plant, which has a lot of health benefits. So when you look at it, it kind of looks like green tea, but they sell it in different forms from like tea bags, the powder to the leaves. So those are the capsules, very simple. Just drink it with water, it goes down into your stomach. And then they sell this one for $25, which is the powder. And then they also have the loose leaves for $5. And this is all organic, by the way. There's like a local farm in Arlita that produces all this. So you're getting the best Moringa. I'm a tea type of a person, so I'm gonna give it a try. Let me go home try some of this and see how I feel. It's definitely gonna be good for my health, right? So just letting you know that this night market doesn't just sell food. You can find a lot of stuff here like clothing, toys, jewelry, you name it. So you can have quite a shopping day here. How fun, right? So this next spot I'm gonna try called Mecha Barbecue specializes in smoked wings. You gotta have some of those wings, right? So for $15, you can get five jumbo smoked wings served with mecca seasoned fries, white barbecue sauce, and look at those flavors. Okay, all of them sound so good. When they say barbecue, they're not playing around. See, they really smoke that chicken in these smokers. I've never seen anything like this in a night market before. This is taking it to a new level. And what's also very interesting about Mecha Barbecue is that they have a rotating menu. So I came on the night where they have the barbecue smoked wings, but they do have uh, sandwiches, they got tacos, a lot of stuff. So follow in on their Instagram to see where they're at and what they're gonna be serving that day. So this is what $15 gets you. So I got three different flavors, the lemon pepper, jalapeno jam, and the one to the bottom is the Mecha Barbe or Mecha Barbecue. <laughs> okay, you gotta say it right and some fries and their white barbecue sauce. Wow, that Mecha barbecue sauce. That's definitely a safe bet. It's sweet and spicy and smoky all at the same time. But I think that smokiness comes from the actual chicken itself because it's been in that barrel, really smoky to the nth degree. So you're gonna really taste that as part of the chicken. But what about lemon pepper? One of my favorite flavors. Mmm, lemony and peppery. So if you guys like chicken that has like that really barbecue smoky flavor, this is like the real deal right here. We even got some jalapeno jam too, that looks so awesome. These are some of the best wings I think I've had at a night market. You gotta have a lot of napkins ready with you because this is gonna be quite a messy meal. But it's very fun though. I'm really enjoying it. Now a lot of night markets do charge $15 for portions like this, but the reason why I think this is 
one of the much better ones I've had is simply because of the work they put into it, like smoking it in that barrel, a very unique way of making it. You don't find it in too many places. Food tastes great, good flavors. I mean, this is really a surprise hit to me today. So yeah, don't miss out on Metro Barbecue. All right, guys, so this is Abel and Mireille. Look out for them at this really awesome barbecue spot, Metro Barbecue. Metro Barbecue. <laughs> All right. <Thank> Woo! <laughs> so if you guys want to check out one of the best night markets in LA, you got to make the trip here to Mission Hills to 818 Night Market because this place is pretty bustling. Especially in the summertime, I heard they have like 60 or 70 stalls here. It's gonna be pretty crazy. So anyways, come here, try the foods that I've tried. You're gonna be pretty satisfied. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next food adventure.